Okay, this is exciting. You just received your Micro Air Easy Start Flex from us here at Hutch Mountain, and now you're ready to install it, and we're gonna help you do that. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, when you pull your panel off your AC unit to access all the wiring and the capacitor and all that good stuff, I wanna identify a few components here. So, first of all, this is the run capacitor. It's usually a big silver canister, like a soda pop can. That's the run capacitor. Here is your contactor, okay? That's where all the connections are made, there. And on the inside of the unit is the compressor with the three wires that come off of it, and that's the most important part there, okay? Now, on the back of the panel that you pulled off to access all that good stuff is a wiring diagram. And we wanna identify on this wiring diagram the compressor, and as you can see right here, here's the compressor, and there's three letters, the R, C, and S. Now we like to start with the S wire, which is the start winding wire that goes to the uh, capacitor. And on here, it's a blue wire, could be different on yours, but we're gonna follow that, that S wire from the compressor to where it lands on the capacitor. This is the blue wire from the compressor that lands on the Herm terminal on the run capacitor, okay? So what you're gonna do, grab your easy start here, now, when you order your Easy Start Flex from Hutch Mountain, you have the install kit and all the connectors you need to install this bad chicken. So, the orange wire from the Easy Start, again, is gonna go on the S wire from the compressor to the Herm terminal on the run capacitor. And you're just gonna plug that on there nice and tight and it's nice and snug, okay? Great, that's done. Only three more wires to go. Next, we're gonna go back to the wiring diagram and we're gonna go to the R wire from the compressor and follow that to where it goes. So the R wire on this one is yellow wire. It could be different color on yours. So we're gonna go to, go to there and here is the R wire from the compressor to the contactor, okay? Now, what you're gonna do on this, this is the best part, is on this, this R wire, you're gonna cut that bad chicken in half. Like that, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna strip back both ends. And I like to strip them back about a half an inch or so. Okay. Here we go. We strip them back like that. Give the good wires a twist there. Get the threads together. Now, the beautiful part about our install kit is they come with these Wago connectors, okay? And how these work is they have the orange tabs here. And what you do is you lift that orange tab all the way up so it's pointing straight up. Now you're gonna take your wire and slide it right into there and clamp it down. And one thing you wanna look for is you see how right here you have wire on this side of the, of the metal bus bar and on that side. That's making a good connection there. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this other yellow wire here. Give that a good connection. All right. Now, what you do is on this run wire that you cut, the one end of the run wire that goes back to the compressor, you're gonna tie that to the brown wire on the easy start. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And the other end of the run wire that's still connected to the contactor, that's gonna go to the white wire on the easy start. So lift that tab up, push that wire in nice and tight, close it and give them a good tug. Make sure that they're clamped down. Awesome, those are solid. Now, we're gonna go back to the wiring diagram and the last wire here is the C wire. And most of the time it's a black wire, but it could be different on yours, but you're gonna fall from the compressor to where it lands on the contactor here. And as we can tell, this right here is the black wire from the compressor that lands on the contactor. So we're gonna take this black wire that has the uh, spade connector on it. And you, you can see there's empty terminals here on the contactor that you can plug this onto. So find whatever one's best for you. Plug it on there. And voila, just like that, you are wired up and ready to rock and roll. If you have any questions or concerns, please give us a call here at Hutch Mountain. We love you and talk to you later.